cut the... Copenhagen climate change talks in December. Go low carbon. Welcome to England. Have a little rally because Stuart's got to catch the 1452 bus. So we've got to get him off quickly. So without further ado, can I introduce Roger Bush, who tells me he's the Archdeacon of Cornwall. Venerable. And I, I, I bring greetings from the Bishop of Truro, who sadly can't be here this afternoon. He'd have loved to have been here in England, staking the claim uh, that all bishops of Truro want to do, to take England back to Cornwall where it properly belongs, of course. So that's, uh, but he can't be here, sadly, today. This is a terribly, terribly important witness. The walks began uh, last Saturday in Penzance, I think, uh, and that's about 100 miles from here, roughly. If you go a hundred miles in from the coast of Bangladesh, the land rises about two metres, that's all. And on that land live between 50 and 60 million people. By the end of this century, if the predictions go according to what the scientists say, all that land could very well be underwater. Peoples of all faiths will say that their scriptures and their teachings will say that all creation is holy, and that's right. The Bible opens with the book of Genesis, and that begins with God creating the world, and God saw that it was good. Creation is good. And he wants people to cooperate with him to care for that environment. Sadly, for too long, we have subdued the environment. We have tried to take as much as we can from it without giving it back. So it's very important for us to be here, for people of all faiths and none to shout with the voice that we've been saying all week that climate change has to stop. So much, but no more. We care for our planet. Let's put those sentiments into action. Thank you. Many years ago, I met a girl who was at school with a big smile who turned out to be called Lucy Isaacson and she's now called Lucy Scholes and she's had a major impact on getting us gathered in this car park today. Um, uh, thank you very much. Uh, Hello everyone, thanks so much for coming and I really hope you've had a lot of fun in the process. The most important thing for us today I think is to have a lasting effect, whatever the reason in the meantime, we must take up a moral obligation to simply cut CO2. 
as today's levels are the highest for hundreds of thousands, possibly millions and millions of years. How you can cut CO2 a little bit more, how you can live within our means, and how you can help others find a way, just for the people we love, that will follow in our footsteps. Thank you very much all for coming. There are very many people who are asking very serious questions today in Plymouth about the ecological threat to the River Tamar, the border between Curnow and Wessex, established before the notion of England ever existed. And they're asking if it is right to be taking apart and refitting nuclear submarines at Devonport. And even if we manage to stem global temperature increases, even if we harness the wind and the ocean and halt our infatuation with destructive reorganizations of nature's truth by distorting them to make nuclear fission, we will have failed because we will have destroyed the places that challenge the spirit to think the thoughts that enable us to see and to understand beauty and to know ourselves. So I say, let us go to Copenhagen. Let us support Gordon Brown and his colleagues let us march to give them strength. Let us sign declarations. But in our enthusiasm, in our zeal, in our evangelization of the need to step more lightly, to lessen the impact of our footprints, let us not harm or destroy sacred, beautiful, uplifting, inspiring places that lead us to understand the relationship we have with the earth. Well, it's good to see you all. It's good now from this place after what we've been doing in Cornwall, in the cathedral, in the declarations, in the planning and in these marches. Now to take these things onwards and in December on the 5th to Downing Street these declarations will go. If you know of people who'd like to sign them still then please do so. You know how to do it, not only the cards but on the Truro Cathedral website, Hot Topics, the pledges, so that we're then ready with all these things to take them to Downing Street and then on to Copenhagen, hopefully with that lovely flag that we have there that Oliver's holding and all these good wishes and thoughts from all of us. So thank you all very much for coming. Thank you for all the parts that you've played in this last week as we go on to the final stage of this Footsteps to Copenhagen campaign. Thank you all very much indeed. <laughs>